What is going on guys? Welcome to another video. In today's video, we're gonna start it off by going through what supplements I take around my workout. So, you posh kids out there, you might call it the peri-workout window. Mm-hmm. So, pre slash intra and then post-workout. Pre-workout, what I like to do with my pre-workout, I call it an intra-pre. Yeah, makes no sense, I know. Uh, but basically, I'll make my pre-workout as a normal person would, and then I will add my intra-workout in, like a weirdo, and then I will drink it within the first three movements of the session. Carb powder, EAAs, um, actual pre-workout, it all goes in, in one nice blend. Uh, and I, yeah, just sip it as I'm, as I'm going along, as I'm warming up and all that kind of thing. Uh, pre-workout wise, I've got three different options so option one is i just go for a nice steady pump workout so at the minute running naughty boy absolute beauty tastes very nice if i'm feeling a bit pumpy and i need to concentrate more we'll go for the naughty boy and the clout karma nootropic it basically helps cognitive function it basically just helps to amplify your concentration so it's, it's really good it tastes decent and then if i'm feeling like i want to absolutely blow my head off and take my strongest pre-workout that I've got, then we'll go for HR Labs V3, Fizzy Cola, 10 out of 10 flavor, absolutely stunning. With each of them, I'll then put in one scoop of EAA, so it's about 10 grams, two scoops of Hydromax, so that's my electrolyte blend that's got like coconut water in, it's got a little bit of dandelion in, so it basically takes water from your skin and drives it into your muscle even more. Yeah, it's got a vitamin C, taurine. It's a really, really good value for money blend. And then I will add in 50 grams. At the minute it's 50 grams, it'll probably change in the future. 50 grams of Carbex. Um, nothing really special about this. It's just carb powder. And yeah, I'll sip that. And then I'll have an absolutely mega, mega sesh every single time without fail. Anyway, no more rambling. Let's get down to Ultra Flex and have a killer sesh, bruh. Hello, guys. Welcome to another video. Not really got anything planned for today, so we're just going to kind of like provide as much value and entertainment as possible. Will's in the trenches, I'm pretty tired. So yeah, you, you know it's gonna be amazing and Sam's gonna have to work extra hard to make it remotely interesting. Anyway, we're down at Ultra Flex training pull. Uh, we're gonna go through what we do arm-wise on a pull session. So let's get going. I don't know what to say. Uh, since the last video, I'm like four pounds down. That was just over a week ago, so. Fat loss has been very productive at the minute. I'm feeling it, it's what, it's what we're doing it. Yeah. Training with a, uh, a female today. This is, uh, this is Jenny, Will's other half. She's competing in 11 weeks. She's doing the same show as me. Not competing against each other, obviously. I won't look very good in a bikini. I think Jenny would look very good in board shorts. Yeah, probably gonna keep both of our asses. Nobody safe. Nobody safe. As soon as we step out the cage, we raising all of the stakes. Make no mistake. Either you stay in your place or we put in you on a plate. Look at our face. We put the fear in the dirt. We had to struggle for change. Pick up the pace. We put in infinite work. That's why we stay getting paid. Y'all running late. We moving on to the next. You still been stuck in the phase. There's no debate. We draw the line in the sand. We say it straight to your face. One thing. Be careful now, you know, with your hand. Don't go too supinated because it's, it looks like you're putting a lot more tension through your bicep than uh, right. what you what you have been previous. I, I. To be fair, I don't feel like much for it, but yeah, that's not. Yeah. I'm just thinking, you know, we last week saying that your bicep hurt a little bit. Just basically saying to Will, just to look after yourself a little bit more whilst doing movements. The amount you can get away with in an off season when you're a little bit, you know, higher body fat percentage and. Uh, you're eating more food so your recovery is better. When you're obviously at the back end of prep, like Will's well, what, six weeks out now, uh, you can't get away with doing some of the stuff that you've been able to do previously. So like loading his bicep up more and a lap pull down, the risk of injury is like sky high. So just telling him, pronate a little bit more, drive your elbow, don't think about pulling your bicep. Yep, 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 yep. You are? You've already done one arm on your back off. 
Have you already done one arm on your back up here? <laughs> Three days. Just kind of let your body do what your body wants to do over that. I mean, I find fucking rest days like just crack on. Yeah. Like just get food low. And then if you last day of it, either pull cardio by half, yeah, or completely yeah. one or the probably, other. Probably completely. And then a little bit more food. And then Wednesday, usual first two meal feed up. My right. This is what I was thinking. This is what I was thinking. So like tomorrow, normal, like training day food. I'll be training after one meal. Um, Saturday, normal rest day food. Normal rest day food. Sunday, again, normal rest day food, but swap the salmon and prawn meal for like a bagel thin. And then either turkey meatballs or chicken and just a square of dark chocolate. It's also less fat than the salmon meal. Okay. And then, Monday, Monday normal rest day food again. Salmon pro <laughs> Salmon pro Hang on, hang on, hang on. And and then our fish <laughs> and, and then a rice cake. Fish and a rice cake. And fish and a rice cake. Will's doing a deload and he's basically going through his entire diet plan just before doing the set, which is like the perfect hype thing to do in it. Yeah, 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 yeah let's yeah. talk about squares of dark chocolate and fucking salmon. Yeah boy. Unbelievable. Monday, normal rest day food again. <laughs> Monday yeah. normal yeah, rest yeah, day yeah. food, Tuesday then like slight feed up. Slight AM feed up or PM. I think PM then You're going in Tuesday. No. PM going into then Wednesday, first day back training. So I've like PM last rest day, AM right, AM right. of the Wednesday and then dig. Look at it, look at it this way. I know that you say PM feed up for the training the day after. But if you feed up in the morning, alright, right? And then you get to the PM and you think, I'm still flat, I'm still like dead, I'm more. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're giving yourself that room for error. Rather than Saturday. like feeding up and then like, where, where do you go from there? You're another Saturday, day the only way I can do day. cardio is when I get back from Brad's show, if you want me to do it then. I don't think you'll need to do any. I think you'll end up doing more steps than you bargained for. What, on Saturday? Well, I'll be spending three and a half hours in the car on the way home. I'll be yeah. sat in the show, not doing a lot. Come on, do your set. Um, is this a top set or? No, last warm up. Do you want to do another warm up? Yeah. Five, six, what seven, eight. eight. Well, you go straight from three to six. For that three? You just did three. Four. Fucking hell. Go on then, do your set. I, I'm going to say this now, right? There's a new business opened up in Ultraflex Rotherham. And I don't know if it's a typo or if that's how they've branded it. But in a second, Sam's going to show you. Uh, it's called Boxed Nutrituion. I'm really excited to try it out. <laughs> you can tell you're flat. You've got like, normally when you're on there, you, your arms like come to life, but not today. You're dead. Bull's dead, RIP. Six or six and a half? Six and a half, bruh. Feeling it. It's £14.50 for a day pass at Ultraflex now. It's not worth it. Go anywhere else. Not here. Maybe don't put that bit in, Sam. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, uh, most performance is good. I think that's £4 for a day pass with the same quality of machi machinery. Kind of. Oh, dear. 
Right, I'm really feeling it. Can you tell? Will, Will's just fucking flirting with Jenny now. Christ, I feel all third wheelie. I'm gonna find some chalk. Uh, so, when I'm not really feeling it, right, which isn't very often, I like to play a game where I don't write anything or even look in my logbook for as long as possible. I don't want to look at what I did last week because I don't want to think, oh shit, I've got to do that again. I'd rather not think about it. I can't remember how many reps I got last week, but if I don't think about it too much, then I'll probably match it or do a little bit better or do considerably worse, who knows? Uh, but yeah, just trying, trying to like play the mental games with myself. Go on then, strong. Yep. Mine. Yeah. Drive. Good. Two. Now one more. Wait, all right? Yeah, looks all right to me. Felt all right. Did it feel all right? Yeah, it felt all right. Good. With me. Ah, done. I think that was 14 and one. How many were? 14 and one. See if I won. Ah. Fuck you, fuck you. Uh, one rep up. Yeah, buddy. One rep up on the, uh, the first set of rocks. As I said earlier, whilst I was making all my pre-workout, intra-workout subs, we are what? Third movement in. Pre-workout, 50 gram of carbs has been demolished. Uh, last week, I trialled out actually having my intra-carbs as an intra. Wow. Boom. And uh, I didn't like it. Can you remember that, Will? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything basically seemed a lot harder and I, I felt a lot more tired. So uh, the, the intra pre is the way for me. Uh -huh. Oh my God, I've just been molested by my son. Hey, handsome. How are you doing? I'm all right, mate, how are you? I'm not bad, I'm good. What's your name? I'm Tegan. Hi, Tegan, Tegan. nice to meet you. I've heard a lot about you, Tegan. Will, you're Tegan. Yeah, Will, say hi to yourself. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I will of the future. <laughs> Easily. Yeah. Yeah? All right, next movement, single arm at Cybex Row. I'm not sure if I filmed this yet on YouTube, but it's a new, new machine in Ultra Flex, so you know what that means. Say it after me. It's the best in the world. Uh, yeah, it's, it's all right, it's decent. It's kind of heavy. I think in the off-season, I'll, uh, I'll be aiming to get that full stack. Yeah, it's just really nice. It's really, really nice. I've got nothing else saying it, really. Team 24-7. That's what I am. Oh, oh dear. But whilst we're in between sets, or in between arms, but asked the other day by one of my clients, when you're doing anything single arm, what arm should you do first? And I reckon I always go weak arm first, so non-dominant arm. So I write with my right hand, so I'll always do my first unilateral set with my left hand. Uh, I, and that is because I don't want to do more reps on one side than the other. It might not make any difference, but in my head it does. And it'll end up ruining my day. So that's why we go weak hand first. Write that down. Team 24-7, boys. Don't stop that grand. Making out like I'm a baller. It's not really, I got it in the sale. It's half price, bargain. But we're going to go for the extreme row. We took this out um, about six, seven weeks ago. 
We trialled every other row in here and then decided that we prefer this. I did a, I did a thing with MBW the, the other day and uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If a movement is going well, don't change it because you think, oh, we've not changed it for ages. Just keep going, Just keep at it, mate. Drive! You again. Right, so going on to arms. Um, I've said it in previous videos, but if you've missed that, I'll tell you again. Activate, isolate, annihilate. Single arm on the preacher to get all the fibers of the bicep firing. Then we're gonna go behind the body curls on the Cybex Bravo and then we'll do some kind of like drop set or rest pause, anything really just to kind of like finish off your arms, just to give it a shitload of junk volume. But who cares, because it's fun. It's fun for me anyway, it's not fun for Will. Nothing's fun for Will anymore. I'm having lots of fun. Ready? You tell me, Sunshine. So yeah, first movement, prime single arm preach curl. Wow, I feel flat. I mean, you gotta get flat, otherwise you stay fat. Am I right? Kinda. Right, so. Arm training volume, something that may interest a few of you. Um, for starters, I don't really count the amount of sets that I do per session on arms. I look at it more as like, how many times can I apply stimulus to them throughout the week? And at the minute, my biceps are getting hit three times a week and my triceps are getting hit three times a week. It's not a crazy amount of exercises, so like the maximum amount of exercises that I'll do is probably about four. Um, on today's session, we're gonna do three, maybe four if I'm feeling it. If the pump is nine, which is unlikely. Um, but yeah, reason being, I prepped three times prior to this. On the first two, my arms withered away quite a lot. And looking back, I was training them once or twice a week because I was worried about training them more and kind of getting injured, doing shitloads of junk volume, yada, yada, yada. But really, how my arms respond better is through a little bit higher volume higher frequency so three times a week is the go at the minute I can't see that changing I don't really want it to change the triceps on the back end of push biceps on the back end of pull uh, they then got a dedicated arm day tomorrow and you might think oh Josh biceps two days in a row yeah yeah I don't care uh, and then I'll hit them on either either the back of upper which is uh, my Sunday session or I train them after legs which I know I trained legs in the last video, but I were a bit dead, so I couldn't really train biceps as well. But yeah, three times a week, working a treat. Yeah, boy. Hopefully we won't have pipe cleaners as arms on stage this year. Nice. Right, there were little feeder sets. So we're gonna go for a 12 to 15 repper, and then I'm gonna up the weight. So it's like, it's the opposite of doing top set, back off set. We're doing back off set, top set, uh, with a little bit of a drop. I just love it. It's the best machine in the world. Best Cybex machine, best cable machine, and it's here at Ultraflex. The best gym in the world. That's better. <sighs> Exhale harder. There we go. With your, with your arms, if you kind of like bring them towards you like that, it just ends up giving them a bit of a, like you're pressing them against your body a bit, closing that gap. The problem is my arms are too long, so this part of my arms are too long, so I'm here, but there's still a big gap because this part of my arms are too long. Put your arms further down your body then, like that. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It looks daft like that. Cause I, cause I'm, yeah, my arms are so long. Right, so last bicep movement, gonna basically just run the rack doing dumbbell curls. Um, run the rack, drop set, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and yeah, get a very sick pump, go and do rear delts and then go home. Woo! Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. Done. Oh, man alive. Oh, dear. Three adults. Let's go. Oh, man. Done. Done, 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 done. Boom. Right, so you've seen the pre-workout um, kind of like supplementation. You're now going to see the post. And to be honest, it's very, 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 very plain and simple. Uh, literally have three scoops of whey isolate. Three scoops? Oh my God, Josh, are you a maniac? Yes, I am, uh, and I have that on top of my cereal. That's it, that is it. There's nothing, no, no, no magic. I don't have like another pre-workout or anything like that. I don't take ashwagandha now. Ashwagandha, I said that really weird, didn't I? Ashwagandha. Um, I have my ashwagandha and all that kind of stuff before bed, but I guess we'll do that in another video. Sam can come and tuck me up and go, go on Josh, have your ashwagandha, okay. I'm gonna wrap up the video now. I'm gonna eat my food and relax and chill. And you guys are gonna like and subscribe and you're gonna stick around and watch another video after this. So yeah, cheers, hope you've enjoyed it. Bye.